Hi guys, I was going to show you how I removed my entire wallpaper border from my kitchen and my hallway. And my son came up and said, Daddy's removing all of the wallpaper. I can't believe it. Now, if I wanted him to do it, it wouldn't get done. But because, I, and I told him today, I said um, that our contractor said this has to be removed and I'm doing it tonight and I'm going to take a video. And he claims he didn't hear me. And this way that we do it is so easy. Let me show you what he did. He removed it all from here down the hallway. Now this is the second layer that I'll show you. Thankfully he left that on because that's really easy to get off to. It comes off in two layers. He did all of this. And so he goes, oh, sorry, I didn't know. And so he left me, this is all I have to show you and a tiny bit over here and a tiny bit over there. And I'm sorry because I really wanted to show you the whole process, but I'm going to show you here and I'll show you on the second layer. So what you're gonna do is you take your spray bottle, that spray bottle, um, use a heavy duty one and fill it with um, hot water. I use hot tap water. My tap water comes out super hot. I mean, really hot it comes out. And I'm just gonna spray that like that. And it really doesn't take much. And then I usually have a putty knife but he said he didn't even use the putty knife. And you just start in one corner and you can rub it in like this first. Okay. And then, see I like a putty knife, but it's supposed to come off in two layers, so don't freak. Okay, sometimes it'll come off completely, but two layers Please don't do that part. I've got to keep telling him because he's like going to town here and I'm telling you. So you just get under it with the putty knife. That's much easier. He should have. And you don't want to gouge your sheet rock. So like, don't go like digging into your wall. You just get under it a little bit. And you see how that comes off. Now sometimes you might have to wet this portion a little bit and sometimes you don't have to. Okay, so you just take, get up under it, peel it right off. Now if I really want to make this easy, uh, even easier, should I, I should say, I will just give it another spritz here with the hot water, okay? And then the rest will just come right off. Like that. And when you have little pieces like this, you can just start, start them and take them off with your fingers. Usually it's easier. with a fingernail and what you'll see you can just grab that and that should come off cleanly like that grab up here no so, and then we've got that, just go into this light switch. This may be under the light, um, under the light switch, so I'll just, I'm going to see if it is. It's not on this side, so I just want to make sure the bottom isn't. No. Okay. Here, hot water. So, let's take this first layer. Take it off. Okay. Who's 
All right, so there that other, I can I'm just clean up over there by that switch plate, but you'll see um, that, that comes right off. And then just, you're gonna wanna go over it with a sponge to make sure you have, just make sure all the glue is off. And that's easy, just use a hot water and a sponge. So if we go over on this side, I'll there. I'll show you on this side. So we've got hot water. And then get up under it. Peel off the first layer. I mean, ideally you're supposed to let it sit a little bit, um, but this things have been so easy. Taking it off for us that I just, I cheated a little, but you should let it, you know, get in, get in just a little bit, but you'll see Now, I, this is what I do. I usually take the first layer and then just saturate the second layer. Now they gouge the sheetrock there when they were cutting it. They'll fix that tomorrow when they put the new sheetrock up in tape, so I'm not worried that wasn't caused by me. Um, let's see. How easy that just comes off. Again, that's from them with their saws when they had to cut the other sheetrock off. But you see, it's it's done. You see all the paper that's been taken down already. And I can show you just on the second layer. Go ahead, Luke, go ahead. Over here. Done. All right. Let's move down a little. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. That scared me. Careful. Can you see how nice this is coming off? Just all in one. This needs to be wetter. I don't really have it wet, but it's still. Just 
came right off. Okay, and so there you have it. Um, how easily you can strip it with the hot water method. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Oh, you know what? I have one more. Look, show this. I'll come with my hot water. Rub it in a little bit. Like I said, you know, best results, let it sit. going to remove in the in the two layers I'm not even going to worry about that because it wasn't I didn't really let it get wet like you see it's not wet to the second layer now that I let it to the second layer something it's pretty foolproof with this method and I don't know I mean I had a friend recently that was trying to strip wallpaper and she was like exasperated and I don't know if it's just because you know it was like some ancient wallpaper that had some paste that they don't even make anymore but these were all like pre-pasted um, this one was put up about 10 years ago okay, good. Check it out. Try it. and you saw my one in the bathroom that was like 20, 20 years ago. But I've seen people even doing um, homes from the 70s. And with this method, it's actually where I saw someone else. And there. And like I said, anything like this will just pop right off. You don't have to with the with the uh, sponge method. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps someone.